So welcome back guys just like the previous tutorial you guys can pause this movie and take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and then try to get the output of this program once you have an answer just click on the play button you know I'm gonna run this program and explain the output and you guys can verify your guess all right now I believe that you guys have an answer for this program I'm gonna build and run this and it's gonna be it's gonna produce the output as 200 so now why the heck we're gonna get the output as 200 so here in this program uh, inside this main function we we have declared an integer pointer called j and then by using the curly braces we have declared a code block you know inside this code block we have uh, declared a variable called i and we have stored the value 200 in that variable and then we have stored the address of this variable i in this pointer j now this variable i is only available inside this code block where we have declared it and if we try to access this variable i outside this code block you know outside these curly braces then you're gonna get the error but what happens is the lifetime of this variable i is gonna be the lifetime of the function in which it is declared so this i variable will exist in the memory as long as this function main is gonna exist and here outside this code block we are printing the value pointed by this j pointer so now as i told you before this i variable is not accessible outside this code block but that i variable will exist in memory as long as this main function exists so when we access the value stored in the memory location pointed by this pointer j you know that value will be there you know it will exist and that's why that value will be printed so here remember that we are accessing by using the pointer j we are not using the variable i here if you try to access by using this variable i outside this code block then you're gonna get the error and um, this is it for this tutorial thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial